Oh. Okay, so by far, ito siguro yung pinakamahal na keyboard na i-feature ko dito sa channel. And uh, galing pa to sa company na legit kung hindi nila ako kinontact for a product review is malamang hindi ko sila malalaman. Ito nga ang isang keyboard from their god. And apparently, 2016 pa sila na-establish. And according sa kanila, they're actually trying to make it into the Philippine market. So, ang nasa kan nga ngayon is yung their god nila na Fusion Wireless Mechanical Keyboard. Ano ko nalaman yon kahit na walang nakalagay dito sa box is actually pinapitin nila ako sa mga mechanical keyboards nila. And so far at least sa pagtingin sa website nila is puro mechanical keyboard pa lang ata yung binabenta nila or baka talaga nag specialize lang sila sa mga mechanical keyboard. And their mechanical keyboards are in no way cheap. nag start at uh, over $100 or over $150 US. And itong specific na Fusion na mechanical keyboard nila cost over $200. So this will be by far the most expensive mechanical keyboard that I've featured on the channel. And tingnan natin kung ano yung mga ino-offer na ito. And of course, much appreciated to Durgat for uh, providing me with a unit of their Durgat Fusion mechanical keyboard. So yeah, for now, let's unbox this. Yan nga siya. So, this is, if I'm not mistaken, base of form factor niya is 65% mechanical keyboard. I'm not too sure. And the reason kung bakit, yeah, ito yung pinili ko. As uh, sa mga nakakaalam dyan, is I'm not a fan of anything below 10 kilos is actually nastigan lang sa design na ito. Yeah, ito nga, Fusion Navigator. And uh, actually, may three choices ka dito for color options. Yung Fusion Original, Fusion Steam, and ito nga yung nasa akin ngayon is yung Fusion Navigator. So, mukhang may box pa ata sa loob ng box na to. I'm not too sure. Kasi parang masyadong malambot yung uh, box na to. So, yan. Yeah, ngayon nasa likod. And meron din silang iba't ibang options for cherry mechanical switches. And ang pinili ko nga is yung cherry silent reds nila na to be honest, hindi ko alam na meron palang cherry silent reds. And ironically, I've been reviewing keyboards for many years now. And this is actually my first time owning a keyboard with actual cherry mechanical switches. So in the past kasi yung mga mechanical keyboards na nare-review ko is either Otemu, uh, Gateron, or yung ibang mga in-house na switches ng mga specific companies. Pero yeah, ito nga yung first time that I'm gonna own a keyboard with cherry MX switches. Okay, may box pa nga sa loob ng box na to. So yun nga, Der God Fusion. Thank you for choosing Der God. And uh, pretty clean sa ibang sides ng box. Okay. So there we have the keyboard itself. Tapos, tignan mo natin yung ibang accessory sa box na ito. So, meron tayong quick start guide. And alam ko, meron actually yung software to. So, mukhang try mode tayo dito. So, pwedeng Bluetooth, pwedeng 2.4 GHz. And of course, yung wired connection. Tapos, Ah, meron tayong mga velcro straps. And meron din tayong ah, parang dongle dito. So, USB-A to C na dongle. First, keycap remover. And meron tayong Type-C to Type-C na cable. And a Type-A to Type-C cable. So, tignan natin yung keyboard itself. And... Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be as light as it is. And, wow, yun this screen niya. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this looks freaking insane. Yung uh, design na ito. So, mukhang on-off switch ata to. Yep. So, mukhang 65% keyboard ata to since meron pa siyang arrow keys. I'm not too sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So, ito yung Durgat branding. Tapos, meron tayo dito yung... Well, design na to sa taas ng keyboard. So, may good mix tayo ng uh, blue-white. Hindi siya yung white na white, pero parang dirty white siya. Hindi ko lang paano explain yun. <laughs> so, yun. Tapos, yellow keycaps din. Tapos, sa top ng keyboard, meron tayong uh, USB Type-C port. Then, sa likod, meron tayong mga anti-slip na well. Hindi siya pads mismo, pero more inclined siya. Mas mataas na konti kaysa sa pads, but yeah. We have six of those, tapos yung two na retractable feet natin. And yeah, nothing else aside. 
Then sa bottom. And not gonna lie, sa pagkamangha ako sa keyboard na to, is actually nakalimutan ko. Meron nga pala itong 2.4 GHz mode. And uh, so far, hindi ko actually nakikita yung uh, 2.4 GHz dongle anywhere. Uh, usually, nakakabit siya sa likod, like hidden somewhere sa likod ng keyboard. Pero sa pagkabasa ko actually sa quick start guide na ito, is hidden siya actually dito sa logo, which is a pretty neat trick. So, uh, push nga lang dito sa right side ng logo ng Durgod and magnetic pala tong logo na to which is pretty cool to be honest tapos um, dun mga makikita yung dongle which okay just press and it pops out so, and very nice may branding pa ng Dergad doon tapos we're moving a keycap and ang tawag nga dito ng Dergad is uh, Dergad PBT Cherry Profile Double Shot Keycaps And as nakikita nyo naman dito sa Switch Is uh, Cherry branded nga siya. Tapos pagdating naman sa dimensions ng keyboard Is it's about 316mm in length 134mm in width And about 45mm thick Weighs about 613 grams And quick sound test tayo dito So ito lang yung microphone Okay, ito is silent Like really silent <laughs> na akala ko actually na silent na considered na silent na yung cherry reds since uh, linear switch siya pero not sure ko na ginawa dito ng cherry pero yeah that is actually really silent na kahit nagbo-bottom out ka sa kahit sa space bar is that's actually really cool and that's what's under the space bar and actually quick comparison na din sa main keyboard ko in terms of sound so, ito nga yung RK100 ko. So, una muna is yung Cherry Silent Reds. Tapos yung parang built-in ata na uh, uh, red switches ng Royal Clutch. Not sure if uh, Otimus lang to or Gatrons, pero kita nyo naman yung laki ng difference in sound sa Silent Reds. And sa Tapos dito din sa harap ng mga keycaps Is actually may mga naka-integrate na secondary functions So may mga uh, function buttons Tapos uh, pwede ka pala maglagay dito Mag-assign ng two bluetooth devices Tapos ito if I'm not mistaken Is ilalagay niya sa 2.4 GHz mode Tapos ito naman is uh, gagawin niyang wired connection But I think this is the first keyboard na meron ako na below 10 keyless na actually gusto ko to mainly because of the design and uh, big fan ako ng Cherry Silent Reds agad so very nice naman and test na actually natin siya so plug in ko 2.4 GHz dongle yep set up and ready to go turn on your switch function ah okay so pagka turn on mo ng keyboard uh, magbi-blink tong uh, caps lock indicator tapos kailangan mo nang pindutin yung function plus eto para sa 2.4 GHz connection function E so not necessarily plug and play so may kailangan ka pang pindutin na uh, button combination if gagamitin mo yung 2.4 GHz um, yung bluetooth or yung wired connection eto so yung typing experience is uh, pretty great naman so far Gustong gusto ko talaga yung feedback na itong uh, Cherry Silent Pro Reds Which uh, kinda makes me want to switch to this keyboard Pero so far hands down a great experience Tapos kapag inclined naman siya Actually para mas prefer ko siya without the kickstands But yeah so far wala naman ako notice na delay or latency sa input niya Very nice and one thing apply, hindi ko pa nababanggit kanina, is about sa build quality nito, which uh, kahit na all plastic yung build niya, is uh, pretty solid yung pagkakagawa. So there's very minimal flex lang if I try to bend it. And really, wala talaga akong complaint sa keyboard na to so far. Tapos, ito naman yung software ng Durgod. So nakikita niya naman, is uh, nade-detect yung ating Durgod Fusion. And uh, mukhang parang all-in-one ata na software to na... Uh, nade-detect niya din yung ibang model ng uh, peripherals ng Durgod and actually if you're gonna scroll to the very bottom is uh, meron pa actually yung mice yung Durgod so nakita nyo man uh, Durgod M600 Nebula and Durgod GM19 Nebula which for some reason is wala actually sa website ng Durgod but oh well 
uh, focus nga lang tayo sa Durgat Fusion 4 today and uh, mukhang wala nga at ang RGB lighting to yung keyboard na to. Actually, check ko lang ulit ngayon para sure while turned on na siya. And yeah, mukhang wala nga at ang RGB lighting to which is honestly kind of a bummer at this price. is actually in-expect na may RGB lighting but yeah, wala nga tayong RGB lighting sa keyboard na to. So, pinapakita dito yung percentage ng battery ng keyboard and mukhang pwede ka din mag-assign sa mga function combination dito sa kahit anong keys if I'm not mistaken. So, for example, function T, multimedia, pwedeng uh, mute. And and yeah, working naman siya. And yeah, mukhang dito sa software is you can actually also assign uh, macros which uh, I don't really use. But hey, it's a feature. Tapos, uh, in terms of uh, customizability naman dito sa software is uh, I would say pretty basic naman siya. Uh, nakikita mo yung battery percentage dito. Pwede mong iba yung mga functions sa iba't ibang mga key presses and yung function combination buttons nga is uh, pwede ka mag-assign two different uh, keys. And yeah, mukhang that's pretty much it for the software dito sa Dergod Fusion. And not gonna lie, I actually really like this keyboard. Although recommending it is kind of a different story as uh, itong configuration ko, yung Dergod uh, Fusion Navigator, configured with Cherry Silent Reds is $246 US. But yeah, yun lang talaga siguro masabi ko in terms of recommending it. Kinda hard to recommend considering the price, pero at the same time, this is actually a great quality mechanical keyboard, a great typing experience, and kita nyo naman yung design. Big fan ako ng design nito. And siguro mga sabi ka lang sa Dergod is make a full-size version of this. And so far actually sa pagka-search ko as of making this video is hindi mo actually mahanap to online dito sa Pilipinas ngayon. But hey, sa mga interesado, uh, once na available na ito sa Pilipinas, then I'll leave the links in the description of this video or uh, kung gusto nyo is pwede nyo din of course check out yung uh, website nila. But yeah, that's gonna do it for now for the Dergut Fusion. Again, much appreciated to Dergut for uh, sending me a unit of their Dergut Fusion. Very nice naman and of course, uh, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Flip a bag, now I'm serving in Tesla Going back, shawty with me, I stepped up GTA for the Ops, ain't no less stuff Shawty born to be my angel, yeah, I'm blessed up Cooking right up in the stool, gotta check the fan Yeah, I'm watching out for Ops, yeah, they know my